This is Sheree with Rehash Fiber. Welcome everybody. I have a great pattern for you. And the reason it's great is because you can use almost any kind of yarn. You can make it as big or as little as you would like. It goes quickly so you feel a great sense of accomplishment. It's not hard and it's just plain fun. So now we're gonna jump right in to how and why I started working this pattern and you can check it all out. There are times when this fiber art craft that we love so much becomes a burden. For me, it was that I had these piles of yarn that are itchy, stacked up back there, creating a mess of things, weighing on me every time I had to go through the yarn and thinking, what am I gonna do with it? Um, I had a fun, fun time spinning it and any fiber I get my hands on, I will spin, so even the rough stuff. And so that is some of that here. I practice dyeing on some, I practice various things. So you see, I have two different color groups. I am gonna use a pattern I've used a couple times before called No Wool Left Behind. It is a great crocheted rug pattern that has flexibility. So for this, I can just crochet until it's gone. I just have a bigger rug, maybe a little bit less here, a little bit smaller rug. Then all this stuff that has become a burden to me has now become an item that has great potential again. Because even if I don't use it, it is great for a gift. You never know who's gonna come along decorating in blues, pinks and yellows, and would love a rug for the floor. Doesn't bother me one bit that it's getting used and stepped on. That's kind of a good solution for itchy yarn. It still looks beautiful on the floor, but you're not as worried about it. There is no way you could wear this next to body, so let's make it usable. Here it is, the yarn is all worked up into the rugs. And I had previously done one out of purple, so it is here as well. I have to tell you, it was great. Seeing that yarn quickly go through my hands and make something useful and fun, and I think cool looking. So I wanna share with you. The pattern is called No Wool Left Behind by Jonna Lindahl. It's very easy to do. You start with a magic circle, and then you start doing half double crochets and you're just adding stitches in along the way so that it can grow, but you work this in a spiral and just keep on going. Then when you're to the end, you do these cute little peacock stitches. I don't know if I'm saying that right, the peacock. And it makes for a really nice, cute edge to your blanket or rug. These are definitely rugs. What is very useful about this pattern is you have all the flexibility in the world. You can use whatever thickness of yarn you want. You can make it as big as you want and you can change colors as much as you want. What I did for all that wool was I double stranded most of it, except I had a few really thick ones that just went in single stranded. Double stranded, just crocheted those half double crochets with my largest hook that I have, which is a 10 millimeter or an N. So what I did when a strand of yarn would run out is I would needle felt the ends together have this nice little needle felt needle and this mat here. Just bring the ends together, roll them over. I kind of rolled it over together, put it on the mat, needle felt it together until it is stuck together and will not come apart. And then you can just keep on crocheting. So very, very rewarding project to see it all used up and into something good. It is definitely a weekend project. I think I did one of these in two to three days. So it was great fun and they're all done. Well, I'm heading off to the Carolinas to do some hiking in both states. I'm taking with me my drop spindle to see the cool places that I can spin. And also, of course, I always take along a knitting project and that is very comforting to have it there. Whether I get a chance to work on it or not, it's really nice to know it's there. So we'll see how that works out but I'm looking forward to some great outdoors and some spinning. It's gonna be great. All right, everybody, you choose to do this. Have a blast, enjoy all the flexibility and the speed. Happy crocheting and thanks for watching.